Several Long Island beaches were actually shut down to swimming last week due to a number of shark sightings. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis went on an exclusive ride along with an expert to find out why it seems we're seeing more sharks. It's a story you'll see only on two. We hit the water with Captain Greg Metzger heading from Hampton Bays out east on the Atlantic Ocean for a close look at what's below it. Soaking in the sensational sight of dolphins and a humpback whale in the search for sharks. That's Metzger's mission as the field coordinator for the South Fork Natural History Museum's Shark Research and Education Program. So there's quite a variety of shark species that are, are, are here now. One way to find sharks is to look for schools of bunker fish, and there were plenty. We know that there's sharks feeding on this school because when the sharks come in on the edges, uh, the fish don't want to get eaten, so they jump out of the way, and it makes that big white boil. Oh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh I just saw a shark's tail on that one. It's the perfect place for the team to try and reel in a shark and collect important data. 224 centimeters. For like 224 okay. centimeters. This is a spinner shark because it's black here on this anal fin. If it was white, that would be a black tip. The next step is tagging the shark. 397209. And they gave me the honor. Okay, Ooh. pull out. There we go. Before Yay. it was released. Yeah. This satellite tag is one way the team collects data on the shark's movement. This part stays on the shark for about a month and sends data to a satellite. This other piece here remains on the shark, so if it's recaptured, others know it's been tagged. Another, more advanced way the team tracks sharks is using the special CATS cam. So it records the water temperature, the water depth. It also has a camera which captures hours of footage before eventually popping off the animal and floating to the surface. Through special transmitters, the team can retrieve it. What we're most interested in is how are these sharks utilizing Long Island waters. Metzger's work also includes educating students like Mike Chacon, a recent Comac High School graduate. Really amazing to see uh, how the populations are rebounding and uh, how many different species we have in the area. The water's getting warmer and we clearly have a lot more food here, so it makes perfect sense that we're starting to see some of these species come into our area. So I see the school bunker behind us. I see how close we are to the beach. Yeah. It's one of the reasons why people are seeing sharks. Yeah, 100%. Usually these bunker schools are not this close to the beach. For whatever reason, this year, they just have been right tight to the beach like this. And he says sharks will chase food not caring what's in their way, advising people pay attention to where they're swimming. But also, keep in mind, seeing more sharks is a good sign. We're starting to reap the rewards of years and years and years of conservation efforts. So I love seeing them. In shark territory on Long Island, thanks for making our day. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News.